What is good everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do or how to create a seamless Instagram photo. I get asked this question so many times on my comments and just DMs in general. All you're going to need to do this is Adobe Photoshop and Lightroom. Those are the only two programs you're going to need and we're going to jump straight into Lightroom and I'm going to show you guys how to do this cool trick hack effect. Okay, so here we have our photo that we are gonna split in Lightroom, it's edited, I'm happy with it, it looks good. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to the top right hand corner to the crop tool, hit aspect ratio and hit 16 by nine. What that is gonna do is that is gonna make sure you take up the maximum amount of screen uh, capable to obviously uh, use when you upload it to Instagram. Now when you've done that, you wanna hit done. Then what you wanna do is you wanna to go to the bottom and find your photo, so it's there, right click, edit in Photoshop. What that is gonna do is that is gonna bring your photo, that edited photo from Lightroom into Photoshop. Once the photo is finished uploading into Photoshop, what you wanna do now is you wanna to go to the top left hand corner and hit new guide layout. That's gonna bring up this little window here and you wanna press number of columns, so the amount of times you wanna split it. In this case, you wanna split it into two columns, press okay. Now you've got the guideline to obviously split the image. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the toolbar on the left hand side and hit the slice tool and then go to the top slice from guide that is gonna cut the photo. Now it's cut, you wanna to go to file, export, and then save for web. Okay, so once this photo has loaded, you wanna select both of these images. Obviously you've got the two images now. Go to the top right hand corner and hit JPEG. Make sure it's JPEG, you don't wanna upload it into a GIF or anything like that. A lot of the time, I think you should just upload it as it is like now because I've never had a tr like any trouble with the quality um, of my Instagram photos like decreasing. So what I usually do from here is I literally press save. That will save that to my desktop and I save it into a folder for this instance, just put um, mountain rock. Just call it that for argument's sake. The photo has now split into two. So you've got the first one and the second one. Then all you're gonna do is send that to your phone. So I'll just quickly send that to my phone now. Okay, so once you have those photos sent to your phone, you wanna go onto Instagram, you wanna hit the upload button. Then what you wanna do is you're gonna find the two images. So in my case, it's this one. You just wanna zoom out of that and then hit the uh, bottom right-hand corner and then go onto the second one, zoom out of that. That should hopefully be aligned because we did crop it at 16 to nine ratio. Then you wanna hit next and then hopefully, by some miracle, you'll have a perfect landscape to upload to Instagram. And that is literally the trick that I've been using for the past year. So I hope it helped out you guys a lot. I'm working on a very, very special project with Nightscape at the moment. We went on a crazy trip and I'm not gonna say too much because I'm just gonna wait for you guys to see it. It's a little short film that me and him are gonna be editing together. It's actually my first short film that I've ever made. So I'm super excited for that and hope you guys enjoy it when it comes out. If this video did help you out, don't forget to leave a like, rate and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care, peace. <laughs>